What's up, guys? It's Ricky, and I wanted us to talk for a minute here about Pearl Tusi's obsession with pushing an agenda that we have to ask about. Very recently, I guess he was trending over the subject matter of her just going out there naked. <laughs> Pearl got tired of clothes. She was just out there anyhow. Now, for a personality of her uh, calibrations <laughs> and all those things, you have to ask, as far successful as you are, you still have to do that. Huh? I know, I don't know who's interested in success after, after people like Pearl. Because isn't there enough? Like, isn't there like a place where you are successful to a point of satisfaction that you wouldn't have to do that and go out there and whatnot? So she went out with some clothes. So me, I saw some people posting her name on Facebook and stuff like that. And then uh, one of you guys actually gave me um, the story to say apparently she was wearing these clothes that were very transparent, like just transparent straight up. She wasn't wearing it, nothing. And then uh, they say she even went out. So at, po at one point you could say, it, is it desperation? Or is it, uh, what is it? What, what, what's the point? But that, that would be the first things that come up to, to a person's mind, right? The everyday Joe. Me and you. See, me and you, we are too normal <laughs> to understand the likes of people like Pearl Tuss. But then there is something that comes up. Pearl's obsession with promoting wickedness. Yeah, no, it's, it's say it as plain as it is. Pearl has been one of those celebrities that have been constantly pushing like weird things. You remember, she's the same person we spoke about not long ago, pushing this Halloween stuff, all the way wearing the devil's outfit and whatnot, right? She did that the first time. Uh, she actually did it again, okay? She actually did it, I think I found two different outfits. And she keeps attending these parties where they are doing those things or these events where they are doing those Halloween nonsense. Like Halloween is not even that popular in South Africa. So why feel they need to push it as hard as she does? What? What? Pearl, is there an agenda here? Maybe we are missing the picture. Because you know, these uh, pictures of her looking lewd and weird and whatnot, it's not just an issue of attraction, like she wants to be attractive. It's almost like there's a, there's a devilish agenda. At the other time, she had devil, she had uh, wicked uh, devil horns, uh, devil teeth and stuff like that, like Dracula kind of a thing. And then she had the devil's outfit. Uh, you'll remember she at one point she was dressed like the character of, um, of Aaliyah. I, I, I forgot the name of the demon that Aaliyah was playing. Uh, Pearl was actually dressed like that demon, demonic figure. And then now she's out there portraying this lewd. Uh, oh, oh, Miguel, what's wrong? We have to ask. I always have questions. When I see a person attracted to wickedness and devilish things, I have just questions. What attracts you to wickedness? What's your problem? <laughs> huh? Like, you just woke up and you were interested. How? how? How does such a thing even happen? How How do you wake up interested in devilish things? Pearl, can, maybe Pearl can explain to us. <laughs> Did we miss a memoir or something? What happened, Pearl? What is it that made you so willing to, to embrace wickedness? Because when a person portrays their body out there for social media and for people to just see, anyhow, any the way you are doing or the way you do or the way you put, keep portraying yourself, painting yourself as these devilish things that you keep portraying, all these Jezebelic, you know, all these Jezebelic things that you keep out there painting yourself as. I have to ask the question, what's your interest in wickedness? Like, I understand people don't have morals, but why wickedness? You know, like, it's one thing not to be interested in godly things. It's one thing. It's one thing. That's one package. It's a completely different thing when a person is attracted to wickedness. It's a different thing. 
So I have these questions. Like, you know, but sometimes when you read some of these people who believe in these things, who fantasize about these wicked things and whatnot, like you read about all these murderers and whatnot and stuff like that, all the serial killers and so the things that go on in their head or the things that play out in their head. There's a documentary that once played some time ago about a serial killer in South Africa back in the 90s. And I never forget that documentary. Never. I never ever forget that documentary. The reasons why he became a serial killer was because he was mistreated at home. The mistreatment that he got from his mother made him hate women. Like a certain type of a woman. He hated a certain type of a woman. Beautiful woman, looking like this, looking like this. So he would go after them, lie to them, in order for him to deceive them into, and kill them. I can't remember the name of the documentary or what it was or, or the name of the serial killer, but whenever I, am, I see a person portray a weekend, I always remember that guy or that documentary. When they asked him these questions, what drove you to cry? And he says, I wanted all of these women to, be, to experience the pain. But they say, this was, these women were not your mother. These women were not the ones that hurt you at your young age. They were not the ones that abandoned you. So why portray your pain over them? He says, no, the, the figure of beauty was what he hated. The idea of beauty. Of, uh, so you sit down and you think about people like that and you're like, the weirdness of a person being attracted, he found it attractive to make beautiful women suffer. I remember, I never forget it. I just don't remember the name of the girl, of the documentary or the name of the guy. They stated, they said, when, when the woman starts pleading for mercy or begging for mercy, he says he loved that, that moment. That moment. He was obsessed with that moment. So when I think of people like that, and then I ask questions of people like Pearl, who constantly portray wickedness. Pearl, what's wrong with you? What is it that's attractive in, which, in, 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 in all these witch, dark things that you keep portraying? What is it? Maybe if she explains to us, maybe then we'll be free, we'll understand. You know what? That's her, that's what she's doing. What is it that attracts you to wickedness, Pearl? Maybe she must explain. Ah, why, can't, why shouldn't we? We should ask. <laughs> Some people are broken out here, guys. Some people are broken. So we must ask so that maybe we will be able to obtain an answer. Pearl, why are you so attracted to wicked things? Why are you not, you are not rested, even in your success, you are still not rested. Have you ever asked that, why is your spirit so way wild? What attracts you to wickedness? You, must, you, you need self-introspection. You need to check yourself. Something is wrong with you. Unless maybe you are functioning on a script. You know, because, you know, some people are devilish. <laughs> they are functioning on the script from the agenda of the kingdom where they come from. You must tell us. Maybe you are from that side. So that we know, oh, I know Pell. Maybe Pell sold their soul. <laughs> so that we know, you know. We know, ah, this one. She said she did this. What attracts you to wickedness? What, what's wrong with you that you will be attracted to wickedness? This is evil. You are going there. <laughs> I don't understand. This is not just about being attractive or wanting to be attractive. There is now an agenda. When even you are, when you are successful, you can't, you can't rest. Your spirit is never at rest. I'm again. Something is wrong with you. I see. 